Hey, hey, you guys, it's Christina from the Purple Alphabet, and we are making busy bags from all Dollar Tree materials. Let's see what we can find. First thing we're going to need to make these busy bags are some bags to put everything in. I wanna keep everything Dollar Tree friendly, so all the supplies you're gonna see are from Dollar Tree. I found these new bags, they're for fashion dolls. They have a clear front. They are meant to put fashion dolls and clothing accessories inside to keep them all organized. They're actually a really good find and a pretty good size. I like the fact that they are clear on the front and that they have a handle on the back and they zip completely closed, so nothing's going to come out when you zip it up. They aren't too large so if it doesn't fit in here then you're limited to not putting as much in here but it is a pretty good size I'd say maybe two inches deep to put some things in there are some little hooks and loops in here to actually use little hangers to make this like a little accessory case but we're not going to be using these little hoops you could probably put some markers or something in there if you wanted to there are some other options at Dollar Tree to be on the lookout for because I know not everybody wants a pink case check out all of the pencil pouches over in the office supply section. There are a lot of options there. Most of them are not clear. There are a few clear ones, but they do have some designs on them. Around the back to school time, you can find some that do have the clear fronts, which are actually a really great find. And that should be in just a couple of months. I've actually done a whole video about Dollar Tree shopping secrets about when things come out and when's the best time to shop for things. I'm going to put that up in the corner so you can take a peek at some Dollar Tree shopping secrets. Another place to look is over in the sock aisle or over in the makeup aisle for little bags that they might have. These are not with a clear front, so you can't see inside, which is one of the reasons why I like the ones from the toy section for the dolls. But they are a good size and a great option if you don't like the pink case. Some of them even have handles, so they're really easy to tote around and take with you, and a lot of them are zippered too. There is this clear case that comes right now in black and white, which is actually a good value. I picked up one of these too. This one is not as secure. It does have a zipper on it, but there are holes on each end. So if you're gonna put some loose items in here, they're gonna come out, but it does look deep enough to hold some things. There are three little pockets on the front, but things are gonna slide right out of there, so I wouldn't recommend it, but it is an option, and it's kind of cool that it does have the handles. This came in black and white. So now that I've got some little bags for our busy bags, I'm gonna stick with the fashion doll one for now. We're gonna fill it up with an activity. Wanted to make sure I made this a really good value for you guys to get a lot of bang for your $1.25. Be on the lookout for the this set of card games. It's a long cardboard box filled with three different card games. There's one that has shapes and colors, matching game for one, two, threes, and build a word. There is another one available that looks very similar to this that does have the one, two, three matching game in it with two other card games. And there is one that I put in a Dollar Tree toy test before that is a little bit for older kids, which is really, really good. Highly recommend that. We're gonna stick with this one that has the shapes and colors, one, two, threes, and build a word. And we're gonna get a couple of busy bags just from this alone. Inside this box of cards, you're gonna find three individual packages of cards. Let's start off with the shapes and colors. We'll put these aside because we're gonna be using those later. In the shapes and colors, we have assorted cards. There's some that have colors on them with an object, red, strawberries, orange, popsicles, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then we have the set of shapes. We're gonna put these aside for now, but we'll use those in a second. So for this busy bag, I thought it'd be great just to do shapes. In this box, you can also see there's two of every card. So you can actually do a matching game with this, mix all the cards up and then match all the similar cards together. So we have rectangle, triangle, square, circle, and oval. Very simple and basic and easy. But what we're gonna do for the actual busy bag activity is that we're going to take one of each card and we're gonna look for the Styro World Glow Putty. This is a new item at Dollar Tree, which I have not tried before. So this is my very first time in trying it. This particular one says it glows in the dark and it never dries out. So if you expose it to light, it should glow, but that's not why I got it. I got it because it's a great sensory item to use. So let's open this up and give it a shot to see how it actually works. Even though it says it never dries out, I would recommend putting this inside the container in something else. If I can get this out here. This is supposed to be like a dupe for the Play Flome. A lot of times you can find the Flome at the Target dollar section. There we go. It is 
is probably a little bit stickier and harder than the foam. Another option if you cannot find this would have to be the Play-Doh. Right now I found a new set of Play-Doh that comes in a four pack in different colors. There's two different sets and two different sets of colors. I've had really good with the Dollar Tree Play-Doh before, but this particular brand I haven't tried yet. You can also find the scented Play-Doh from Crayola, which might be another great find for this particular activity. But what this activity is supposed to be is supposed to be mimicking the shape on the card with the foam. So we can take a card and let's say we want to do a square and we can shape the foam into a square to match it. And here is my square. The benefits to this is doing some sensorial play, getting used to the textures and the touch because this is a sticky texture. Also working fine motor strength because when you move and mold this putty, it takes some hand strength to get it to do what you want. And you're learning about shapes and shape recognition too. So a couple different skills that are worked on this one. And Dollar Tree even sells these little containers, these little snap tight containers. Usually come two to a pack. Sometimes you can find them three to a package or even these as well. But these are perfect to store your glow putty while you're not using it and to have it all together so it doesn't get all over your little busy bag. So we'll put that in there. You can put both sets of cards in here. So you have a matching game and then you have your putty game. Zip it all up and you have a busy bag number one, matching, shape recognition, and sensory play. Also in this same package of colors and shapes, I showed you we have the color cards. So again, you can also do the color matching with this because there's two of every single color in here and you also get the whole rainbow. But for this busy bag, I wanted to work on color recognition. I'm gonna open up another busy bag here to get it ready. And so I only need one of each color. You can include them all if you wanted to do color matching. And then over in the craft section, I was looking for something that came in rainbow colors and plenty of them. You can find pom-poms at Dollar Tree, but sometimes they don't have all of the rainbow colors. But what caught my eye were these colored craft sticks because they come already done for you and there's a lot in the package. This is actually a really good deal and a really nice item to have on hand. So we're gonna use these colored craft sticks for color matching. And you really only need one of each color. If you wanna make this challenge a little bit more difficult, you can definitely add a couple of more sticks to make it more challenging. I have one of every color and these can go into your busy bag. They could probably even fit in that little, that little strap there to hold them like that. That would be cool. So you get this busy bag and you would put out your card and you can take your little sticks here, your colored sticks, and you can match them up to the correct color. If you have more than one per color, that's fine too. It just would take a little bit more time and it's a little bit more challenging. So a real basic, easy color match that you're doing with the sticks. You can also do the same thing with the cards if you wanted to. And it all fits right back into your bag. Hey, look at that. Even the cards fit in that little strap there and they don't move all around. All around. You can certainly put multiple activities into one of these busy bags and have them all together. I'm just doing them separately so you can see the individual activities. Okay, so we have our shapes and we have our colors. Next up from our little box of cards would be this middle one, the one, two, three matching game, which I have here. These are kind of neat because they have two styles of cards. They have the cards that have the number and then they have the cards that have the quantity on them. And depending on which skill you're working on probably will depend on which cards you actually pick. So if your child already knows the math symbols, then you can use this set. If your child needs to know the quantity, then use the other set because it actually has that amount on the card so they can count. So two different levels here and it goes all the way up to nine and 10. Ooh, do we go to 12? We might go to 12. Oh, we go to 11. All right, I'm gonna take the 11 out for now. Another thing you can do is laminate these two if you want them to last longer. Just run them through a laminator. I'll link one of my laminators that I use down below too, so you can have that for reference. Okay, so for the purposes of our activity, I am gonna only use the number ones. We're gonna put these aside, get another bag ready. I have a couple variations on this one too. This one has a couple different ways you can do it. So we'll have our number cards, one through 10. If your child doesn't know one through 10, pick the numbers they know, one to three, one to five. And then over in the toy section, look for the checkers games. In the checkers games, they have red and black tokens in them that you can use for this activity. I like these because they are rather large versus maybe smaller marbles or manipulatives that we tend to use. This one comes with the 24 checkers inside and the game board to actually play checkers, but we're not gonna use the game board for this one. We're just gonna use the little tokens. If you wanted to put these into a container so they're not moving all around in the bag. You can just slip them in 
into one of those Dollar Tree containers. You're good to go for your busy bag. And to use it, this is a Montessori inspired activity where you would set out your flash card. I'm just gonna put five out here for now. And you take your tokens or your little checker pieces and you put that many underneath to match the quantity. I'm actually gonna need all of my, I'm gonna need all the tokens to do that. And then you'd continue on that way. You can also extend this by using it for math, you know, addition, subtraction, as well as your child gets older. If you don't have enough tokens, you can also do this one by one instead of laying them all out together in a line. So for instance, if you put six down, then you can put six tokens down to match the flash card. And one more extension activity idea would be to shuffle up all the cards and then to place them in numerical order. There is one more thing that I wanted you to look at for those cards, and that would be the foam dice that are in the toy section. The foam dice come in a couple of different styles. There is a two pack that's a little bit larger, and then there is a four pack that comes with one in every different color. The thing about the dice is they only go up to six. So you can work on number recognition of one to six, or you can use it for adding. They're just super fun and in colorful ways. I really didn't think this was gonna fit in here. So let me just test it out and see. It might be too thick. How about that? It actually does fit in there. That is great. So you can put one of these in here. You can roll it to get a number and then you can put that many chips out or you can roll two together and add, here we go, add that many to get an answer. I did get this bag because I thought this would fit those blocks better. Let me just check and see. And they do, it's not bad, but they actually do fit in here too. So that's actually a good thing. So you can put two of these blocks in with your checkers and your flashcards and have different ways to work on those. And another variation too that I wanted to mention that I think it'd be pretty cool is to actually take these popsicle sticks and you can write numbers on that popsicle stick. Here's a three on there. You can do that by matching it up to the card or you can do it with the checkers too. Now there is one more card game inside that long package of cards and that is the build a word. I'm not putting that into a busy bag because I don't particularly care for the skills that it's working on, but I wanted to show it to you anyway. It's more like a picture word match. So where you have one side of the word, you're supposed to match it to the other. Let me see if I can find the match for this one. There it is. So we have train that matches up like that. Here's wagon. And the reason why I don't like it is because these are not words that your preschooler should know by reading them. And it's a little bit difficult because there's so many. So if you're going to use these, I would definitely recommend only using a smaller set versus the whole deck because it's very confusing when they're front and back and they're really just matching up the pictures. So there's a half of a hot dog, an airplane, truck, elephant, cake, apple, watermelon, ice cream sun, rainbow, star, lemon, strawberry, violin, cupcake, whale, kite, flower, xylophone, and unicorn. So not too impressed with this set for the skills that it is, but if you are going to use it, then I would just maybe pick out maybe four or five, six different ones to match up. So then you have three busy bag ideas with some variations that you can take and go with you. If you have them already set and go, look how little room this takes. You can grab one and go and take it with you to the restaurant, to a doctor's office and work on that one skill. If you want, you can also clip all of these little handles together with a ring and have them all ready to go in your car. If you guys like this video, make sure to watch the other one I'm putting up here on screen next. I'll see you over there. Click subscribe to see more videos like this and give me a thumbs up to show your love.